Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Um, I know you guys wanted me to do a review for the Marino card. So um, because he fits my team almost perfectly, well, basically perfectly because I have just the right wing off chemistry. Um, I kind of figured that I reviewed this card because he basically just looks like the cheaper alternative to someone like um, a Valverde as well as like just other Liga Santander midfielders because there's not like a whole lot to work with obviously in the beginning of the year so the fact that this card is Spanish from Liga Santander is uh, by itself an interesting variable uh, yet again we're using Arnautovic gonna be a fan favorite over here because this card has been absolutely incredible for me look at this bad boy nine matches played 14 goals one assist this guy's all used um, anyways Marino, guys, the, the reason why people are so interested in him, right, is because he's six foot two, high, high work rates, left footed, three star, three star capabilities. So, yes, it is a little bit of a downfall of the card to not have the weak foot. However, because he is playing in the left sided areas for the most part, the card looks interesting because when you give him an anchor chemistry style, he actually turns into a lengthy player, right? So obviously, if you're playing on the old gen version of the game, you're probably still going to give him either an anchor or a shadow chemistry style. But it definitely adds a whole new variable to the card because with his shooting base card stats set up the way that it is, right? It is in a decent position to be able to hit the outside foot shots outside the 18 yard box because honestly, there's cards that have decent shooting capabilities that are still pretty good at hitting those things uh, just because it's a very effective way of scoring outside the 18. Uh, In-game player traits, he has long shot taker and outside foot shots, right? So those two things, while being a left-footed player in that left center defensive position, left center mid position, is an interesting variable to take, in, uh, take into consideration, right? So this card on an anchor chemistry style is going to be working with very good pace stats for the lengthy accelerate. He's going to get defensive boost. He's going to get a physical boost, which is going to be very helpful because of how tall and physical oriented he is at six foot two, high and average body type and a high, high work rate. It's very, very big thing in FIFA nowadays. For physical stats, he's going to be in a very good area too, right? Mid 80s, uh, high 90, low 90, right? For certain stats in the physical departments, very nice there. Uh, passing on the car on the card also in a very good area too so you guys know passing stats in fifa nowadays is definitely a very important thing to have when it comes to making certain passes and creating certain build-up plays uh dribbling on the card i don't expect him to be the most responsive but i still expect it to be decent because he's in the mid 80s area for the other dribbling stats agility and balance being lower in the game nowadays is not necessarily that big of a deal right it just usually is for like explosive players but for the physical type dudes like this playing in that midfield setup it should be perfectly fine. You can see that you can give him different types of chemistry styles like Architect, Backbone, Sentinel, Hawk, Sniper, but I still feel like the Anchor is going to make the most sense because giving him that little bit of extra pace to work with it is going to be super ideal, and I hope people chose that. Yeah, okay. I was about to judge you guys hard. Um, dribbling. Like I said, we'll be experimenting with. You expect it to be a little bit more physical oriented uh, with defending being good and physical being good. He should be a very good all-rounded midfielder to use. So in the team, guys, we are going to be using him in one of two CDM setup, right? For the Boris Legend 4-2-3-1 playing at left center defensive mid. You guys know the vibe. They're just on cover center, so they just play to base characteristics, right? So yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. Eh, try a long distance strike, why not? See what happens. Nice Marino. Arnautovic. This guy's hilarious, man. He's so good. Uh, I will say it's nice to have left foot on the left side, to be honest with you. Pretty, pretty helpful. I would pass it with his weak foot like that too, right? Oh, Magnon, what a save. What? <laughs> Oh. Just 
This trackback was good there. Hit it. Nice. Oh, that was a good build-up play, though. Wasn't bad. Oh, get that. Nice. Oh, no. The drag touches, man. I wish they just got them, you know? Nice goal, boys. Well done, well done. And the rage quit too, nice. As well to stick to him there. Really? I mean, you get rewards for foot champs qualification, so that's a little weird. But I'll take it. Definitely take it. Was a little bit weird. We got to it though. Oh, nice try, nice try. But I got him a strong foot right there. Oh, good effort. All right, switch the play there. Nice goal. Marino getting involved right there, too. That was sick. I like that. Good pass. Oh, that one's my fault. Shouldn't be doing that. Super, super forced. Oh, I think that was going to be a good one. Nice goal, Morino. We'll take that. Good stuff. That's why it's nice like to have the left foot on the left side. So when you do get into a position like that, you can just use the outside foot, sh uh, outside foot shot to score, right? It's good like that. Good block. It'd be, in, in a video game sense, it would have been nice to just like chest controlled it right on the spot. A poor pass decision, you know? Nice goal. That's the Mbappe skill move against the goalkeeper in real life, eh? <laughs> nice. Oh, unlucky. Definitely should be re rewarded there, but it's okay. And that's the problem with Bernardo Silva. It's his, his weak foot, man. He's so good, but it's his weak foot. Oh, man. Oh, Palinga. Oh, this is my this is one of my favorite cards this year. I'm not even joking. Nice. 
I like that the players in this year's game, they hold that onside position like way more than previous years. It's it's really, really good. Like in a situation like that, I would have been really annoyed if they didn't, you know? Ah, uh, if it's not looped, it ain't gonna come off, man. Oh, what was that? Let's go. Good build up, boys. Arnautovic, man, for 20k, you, you genuinely cannot go wrong with that price range, my goodness. Marino's nice so far. You know what's he's nice because he's left footed, right? And because he's left footed, it adds like a nice variable. Like I can do an outside foot shot if I ever like get a good opportunity for it and stuff. What I will say though is that he does not touch Valverde in regards to like in-game quality for that CDM position. Like having Palinga and Valverde together in that CDM position is like it's crazy. It's so hard to pass. Oh, what was that extra touch there? No, dude. Such a good pass, though, though. Uh, though, though. <laughs> By Marino. It's good. He did well there initially, and that was pretty good. We can build up a play here with him if we can. There you go. Gets the initial defensive play. He's left footed, so you can actually take those long strikes with him. I can get a nice little defensive play. He's not bad, eh? I hitting those bad boys? Pretty decent. Those are the super low percentage in those ones, and he still hits it well. Hit that, there you go. Arnautovic with the man of the match performance. Three goals, what a beast. Should have been Marino with that outside foot shot. <laughs> okay, guys, so final verdict on the Marino card in game. Um, You know what? For a cheaper alternative, working with uh, Liga Santander midfielders, Liga Santander in general with the Spanish Lynx. Uh, this card's pretty solid. I actually enjoyed using him. I think this is definitely uh, a W card for the price range that he's at because, listen, he has all the right things, right? He doesn't have the weak foot, which is a little bit of a letdown. I always like to have weak foot, always. The weak foot, uh, you know, if I'm in a certain situation where I'm coming off of like an emphasis touch, having a better weak foot, it just causes consistency with certain plays that you want to do, right? But the three star, three star is not that big of a deal because this card as a high, high worker to card that pushes forward and comes back, is really, really well-rounded on that anchor chemistry style because you boost the pace, you boost the defense, you boost the physical. But the main thing here with those three things being really good is the fact that because he's a left-footed player and he has both of these traits right here, he takes really good strikes outside of the 18-yard box. So if you're coming up against someone who is parking the bus, which is a very large majority of people, that outside foot shot trait is going to be very, very helpful to work with just outside of that 18 yard box, because even though his shooting stats don't look crazy, he still hits them well because he has those two traits, right? Passing came off really nicely, really well weighted for the most part, whether it was his weak foot or strong foot, he actually did a pretty good job with it. It's just a consistency thing with the weak foot when uh, you have like a three star, right? But yeah, the dribbling stats in the card, didn't mind it whatsoever. As a midfielder, I found it to be perfectly fine. Uh, he actually helped me out on certain attacks as well, because in this 4-2-3-1 on cover center, high attacking work rates, he is going to push forward sometimes, right? But he's also going to have the lengthy accelerate, the proper pace to be able to track back just as well too, right? Now, what I will say is that defensively, I still think Palinha right? And this is a bad comparison because he's Portuguese, CDM, Premier League, blah, blah, blah. Palinha has like that crazy defensive it factor, you know, like he defensively is just a beast. Marino's not like that, right? I also don't think Marino's as good as someone like Valverde. Valverde is clear of this card. Valverde is one of the full meta cards in this year's game. However, 
the price range is completely different, right? Valverde as a player of the month is 200 and something K. This card is 59 K, right? And it gives you Liga Santander Spanish link. So it adds a whole new variable to the card, right? If you go to the midfielders that exist in the Liga Santander, right? Let's take a look at what we're working with, right? So we have someone like Infor Modric, who is not the same type of player as Marino. He's more of a dribbler, passer type, right? But if we take a look at, you know, just the, can you search like work race? I guess not. But if you take a look at like the high, high work rate of cards, it's literally just uh, Federico Valverde at high, high, as well as just himself, right? A high, high work rate. I don't think there's anybody else. Thomas Lamar is also high, high. Thomas Lamar could be decent, but he needs upgrades for him to be like, wait, like he's he's pretty decent right now, but he needs upgrades to be a little bit better to, to use in that position if you were to do that. But there's no other card that is tall and offers defensive capabilities while working with a high, high work rate. So this is definitely a W transfer market card and he's not too expensive. So uh, that's actually really cool in my opinion. But uh, yeah, didn't mind him in the team. Obviously I'm gonna sell him Valverde as a player of the month on the review account is better to use in that position, but he's still very, very sick, man. Very good card to get as a transfer market card. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes, love you guys.